the basic rules of international humanitarian law. Distinction. When planning or carrying out an attack, distinction must be made between civilians and combatants and between civilian objects and military objectives. Treatment. Civilians and combatants who are hors de combat must be protected and treated humanely. Weapons and tactics. The only legitimate objective of war is to weaken the enemy's military forces. Specific protection. Certain categories of people and objects must receive additional protection. The first game I looked at was Call of Duty Black Ops. Black Ops missions often fall into the plausible deniability category. The enemy is first demonized by showing torture. Is that correct? Ah! Is that correct? Yes. No. Do not fuck with me, Mason! I know when you're lying! We went in to kill Castro. Cuba condemned the release of Black Ops, saying that the video game tries to legitimize murder. Get the fuck out of our way! Contact down. Get in position, Zip. You ready to make history, Stuart? Crazy bitch. He uses a human shield, and she still protects him? Castro supporters are fanatical in the devotion to him. Bowman, the target is down! The next game I looked at was Medal of Honor. Although Medal of Honor is a hugely popular game, the game has caused a great deal of controversy. The Army and Air Force Exchange Service has banned the game from all US military bases. They have banned it because the multiplayer aspect of the game allows you to play as the Taliban. And many have deemed this disrespectful. Amanda Taggart, senior PR manager for EA, told AOL News, Most of us have been doing this since we were seven. If someone's the cop, someone's got to be the robber. Someone's got to be the pirate and someone's got to be the alien. British Secretary of State for Defence Liam Fox made headlines when he called for retail stores to ban the game. Game developers have tread dangerous waters before when Konami planned to publish Six Days in Fallujah, a planned Iraq war game that the company claimed was even developed with input from insurgents. The game, however, was ultimately scrapped due to political considerations. The gameplay is designed to be realistic and to this end EA has hired several consultants from the United States military. Typical in-game objectives are similar to those issued in real life such as raiding, terrorist hideouts, hostage rescues and undercover operations. The game is loosely based on parts of Operation Anaconda, specifically the events surrounding the Battle of Roberts Ridge. The next game I looked at was Halo Reach. This has the notion of civilians and civilian death. Global leader, I'm seeing heat sinks in the structure ahead. In them should I push them? On your knees, now! They're not rebels, they're farmers. Look at them. Ask them what they're doing here. Meet the rest of the people. Hiding, sir. 
Damn. Looks like they were interrogated. It's messy. The use of torture is used again to justify any killing. Once the enemy has been identified as an alien race, the Covenant, all killing is a free for all. The game I looked at was America's Army. This is the US Army sponsored video game. Unfortunately, the American Army does not get it always right. On the morning of July 12, 2007, about a dozen people were killed in Iraq. None of these were carrying weapons, and everyone seemed relaxed. These were classed as anti-Iraqi forces or insurgents. Yeah, Roger, I just estimated there's about 20 of them. There's, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, fuck, sorry, I was just going to bypass. God damn it, Kyle. Sorry. <laughs> I hit him. I 